Some showers in the area this morning, so just to take that umbrella along with you, you may not need it depending on exactly where you are. The uh, the coverage of rain is not terribly high or widespread this morning, but there will be uh, some wet spots this morning. Rain chances really highest today compared to the rest of the week. We're not looking for a lot of rain for the middle and latter part of the week, but a look at our future cast does show some scattered showers moving on through this morning and even through the early afternoon. We've got some scattered showers still kind of hanging around, but eventually I think these will lift north as our winds start to become more southerly later on today and into tonight as the boundary kind of lifts north of us too. And boy, those southerly winds on Wednesday and Thursday are really going to warm things up around here with temperatures expected to get close to uh, to record highs. Here's a look at our three minute advantage and we've got some decent downpours this morning in parts of Pickens and Tuscaloosa counties, uh, northern Tuscaloosa County now near uh, uh, really south of Fayette and Barry in the southern part of the county. We're seeing some some rain moving through there. Decent little shower here south now and east of Tuscaloosa along Highway 82. Not a lot of rain elsewhere though. We've got that one batch so starting to really arrive here into West Alabama. Maybe some light rain showers elsewhere, but that's about it. But all of that is heading toward the Birmingham metro area, so don't leave home without an umbrella today. Some 60s out there now, so it's really very mild. Rain chances will drop during the mid to late afternoon hours, so I do think the majority of the rain Rain will come through this morning, likely through about two or three o'clock and then just some spotty showers after that. So some low 70s today, scattered showers around tomorrow, though, with those southerly winds and they are going to be really moving around 30, maybe even gusting up to 35 miles an hour at times. That's going to help to boost those temperatures up to 80 degrees tomorrow. So close to record highs on Wednesday and Thursday, and then we drop off quite a bit on Friday. Back to you. Thanks, F545 right now and already.